A major component of this program is the, the, the Master's Research Project, which is a 38-week um, project. All the projects are supervised by PIs, group leaders here in the centre. These, these are all active researchers as well, so they're all researching and publishing uh, at the moment. The research project gives, first of all, training and experience within a live project. This isn't a class where we know the answer to the research question. This is researching the unknown. Our students are given training, one-on-one -on -one training from day one, and increasingly they work under supervision and then independently. It can be a taster for the future. Do I like life in the lab? Is this where I can see myself? Many students use it as a foundation for a PhD programme. Unique to this programme, we have a module which runs the entire year long. It's uh, from concept to commercialisation. It covers a very, very broad range of, of aspects, uh, ranging right from cancer diagnosis right through to conceptual things, through to application of biomarker research, uh, drug discovery research, um, how to commercialise your, your, your product as it were. The Cancer Biology module is a sort of basic fundamental taught course. We take the students through the basic genes involved in cancer, you know, what, what they do, how they go wrong. We cover things like uh, invasion, angiogenesis, kinases, mutations, that sort of thing. On top of that then we have from diagnosis to treatment. This is taken by Dr Stuart McIntosh who's a breast cancer surgeon here, here in the centre and uh, it basically covers a sort of like the patient journey, taking uh, patients right from diagnosis, treatment, um, monitoring their responses and you know if, if um, unfortunately it does relapse then what the types of things that we do. In the second uh, semester then, the students will split into their two main streams. There's the precision cancer medicine aspect and then there's the radiation oncology and medical physics stream. The Cancer Genetics and Genomics module will consider all aspects of cancer genetics beginning with uh, genetic predisposition to cancer, so thinking about familial cancer syndromes, um, the underlying genetic predisposition to cancer that occurs in the general population, but then also considering some of the genetic events that occur um, in normal healthy cells um, that, that cause them to transform and become malignant. And then as well as that we have the Translational Cancer Medicine which is basically a follow on from the cancer biology in the first semester where we're looking at the more sort of applied aspects of biology. So taking those fundamental genes that we talked about in the first semester and then looking at in, in, in terms of how can we actually use this information to actually uh, personalise treatment using state of the art techniques in the lab, things like uh, next gen sequencing, high throughput transcriptomics, um, metabolomics. The Radiation Oncology and Medical Physics stream will consist of back-to-back -back modules delivered in semester two. The first module will focus on understanding the biology of radiotherapy, really from the fundamental intera physical interactions of radiation at the cellular, tissue and whole organism level, through to some of the more basic concepts um, that, that underpin uh, radiotherapy as a cancer treatment modality. The second top module will really focus on some of the clinical aspects of radiation therapy, ranging from, from both tumour and normal tissue responses, and aspects of radiological imaging involved in the treatment of cancer. So in terms of people looking, like for example, to uh, be more competitive for applications to PhDs, or people looking for a long-term career either in industry or uh, academia, this, this would be ideal, an ideal stepping stone. In terms of the medical students then, obviously there, there's various aspects, obviously it will make them as well more competitive. They have that possibility of going into clinical academia here, for example, or elsewhere in the UK. We would hope that people coming out the far side would have greatly increased sort of practical knowledge as well.